Greetings, my friends. May I share a few thoughts about the story of Moses and the burning bush? It is vitally important for us to realize that the bush which was burned but not consumed has a deep prophetic significance. It is figurative of the nation of Israel, which throughout human history can be seen to have been threatened with extinction and yet never completely destroyed. We can think of the Babylonian captivity, from which a remnant yet returned to rebuild the ruins of their promised land. Again, we may consider the sacking of Jerusalem by the Romans under Titus in 70 AD. Dispersed to the four corners of the earth, they nevertheless maintained their separate Jewish identity. In quite recent times, they face the unspeakable horrors of Hitler's so called final solution. The very word, Holocaust, derives from the Greek, meaning completely burned. Appropriate indeed. Burned, yes, but not consumed. For out of the Holocaust, Israel emerged as a nation, re established in her own land. Note, and note well, God spoke to Moses through the bush. This foreshadowed his intention to speak to the world at large through the burning bush, which, as we have seen, is the nation of Israel. Starting with the five books of Moses, known as the Torah, or the Lore, God has spoken to the world through his written word, which we know as the Bible. And the Bible is, of course, a Jewish book. God has spoken through his prophets, through the Bible, and ultimately through the person of his Son, Jesus Christ, all of which have come by way of the burning bush, which is the nation of Israel. We owe them so very much, and let us never forget it. Thanks for listening.